Hello friends, today we are going to see the MCQ of Engineering Economics in the topic of contract. So the first question, an agreement once made enforceable by law can be termed as option A, tender, option B, offer, option C, acceptance, option D, contract. So the correct answer is option D, contract. So next question, in order to make an agreement valid, there must be a definite offer and option A, absolute and unconditional acceptance, option B, pure and valid acceptance, option C, absolute and unconditional offer, option D, conditional and valid acceptance. So the correct answer is option A, absolute and unconditional acceptance. So next question, which is the key act that regulates contracts in India? Option A, Indian Arbitration Act 1940. Option B, Indian Penal Code 1947. Option C, Indian Contract Act 1872. Option D, Indian Civil Act 1880. The correct answer is Option C, Indian Contract Act 1872. So next question, in which section of Indian Contract Act term offer and acceptance are defined? Option A, Section 4A, Option B, Section 2A, Option C, Section 3B, Option D, Section 18A. So the correct answer is Option B, Section 2A. So next question, when one person signifies to another his willingness to do something or to, to abstain from doing something, he is said to make Option A, a offer. Option B, contract. Option C, acceptance. Option D, agreement. So the correct answer is option A, offer. So next question, which of the following is not a legal requirement of valid contract? Option A, there must be a lawful consideration. Option B, the subject matter of the agreement must be legal and definite. Option C, the contract shall be made by the parties competent to contract. Option D, offer and acceptance should be done by only one part. Uh, the correct answer is option D, offer and acceptance should be done by only one part. So next question, which of these is not a type of contract? Option A, item rate contract. Option B, open contract. Option C, percentage rate contract. Option D, lump sum contract. So the correct answer is open contract. So next question, which of this is not a type of cost plus contract? Option A, cost plus percentage contract. <laughs> Option B, target contract. Option C, piecework agreement. Option D, cost plus sliding fee contract. The correct answer is Option C, piecework agreement. So next question, in which type of contract possibility of ring form formation can be avoided? Option A, percentage rate contract. Option B, material supply contract. Option C, item rate contract. Option D, labor contract. So the correct answer is option C, item rate contract. So next question, in which type of contract there is a possibility of unbalanced tender? Option A, percentage rate contract. Option B, lump sum contract. Option C, item rate contract. Option D, turnkey contract. So the correct answer is option C, item rate contract. So next question, in which type of the contract bidders are allowed to quote rate in percentage of tender amount? Option A, item rate contract. Option B, percentage rate contract. Option C, measured contract option d bot contract so the correct answer is option b percentage rate contract so next question in which type of contract among listed below has the highest chance of ring formation option a 10 king contract option b item rate contract option c percentage rate contract option d bot contract so the correct answer is option c percentage rate contract so next question, in percentage rate contract, bidders can bid their rate at dash rates indicated in the bill of quantities. Option A, at par with. Option B, percentage above. Option C, percentage below. Option D, all of this. So the correct answer is option D, all of this. So next question, in which type of contract measured in executed item are not required to keep? Option A, item rate contract. Option B, lump sum contract. Option C, percentage rate contract. Option D, cost plus contract. So the correct answer is option B, lump sum contract. 
सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ लेबर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन ए ग्रेटर कोऑर्डिनेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑप्शन बी लार्ज मटेरियल स्टोरेज इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑप्शन सी मटेरियल स्टॉक रिकॉर्ड एंड सिक्योरिटी रिक्वायर्ड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबो सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबो सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ दिस इज नॉट ए एडवांटेज ऑफ ए मटेरियल सप्लाई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन ए क्विक डिलीवरी एंड पेमेंट ऑप्शन बी कंपैरेटिव चीप रेट्स ऑप्शन सी नो हैसल ऑफ डैमेज एंड थेफ ड्यूरिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑप्शन डी क्वालिटी चेकिंग रिक्वायर्ड सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी क्वालिटी चेकिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड so next question when owner is supplying a material and bidder needs to complete all item through supplying labor then such contract is or known as option a labor contract option b material supply contract option c entire contract option d bot contract so the correct answer is option a labor contract so next question when owner of the project only performs duty of promoter and delegates duty of design and construction of project to large consortium or firm then such contract is called option a item rate contract option b all in contract option c cost plus contract option d lump sum contract so the correct answer is option b all in contract so again we will see in next video thank you